and we're back okay now let's continue um ooh that looks pretty cool so i have to admit i like uh assassin's creed syndicate better though in terms of this is victoria right in front of me good assess the situation once there and proceed with caution did nicola provide you with armament yes Essex M2 Falchion. Good. The Falchion secondary ordnance should help. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Okay. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Got that out. All right. Oops, what the hell? Oh, I have third control back. <laughs> Anything? No. Rocking horse. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Holy shit, he has no reflection. What? <laughs> I do have to say, they did make the place look really, really good though, in terms of graphical uh, powers. Like, the game itself looks really, really good. But, you know you have a problem when, um, when a David Cage game has more interaction than, <laughs> than this game. <laughs> I don't know. I like David Cage's games. This so far feels very limited in terms of what you can Morning. do though. What's this? Ah, the text is so small. Can I even zoom in? Mysterious disappearances in Whitechapel. Uh, Deputy Coroner has opened an inquiry in respect of the death of the woman found in Whitechapel last Tuesday and Instead of four stab wounds in her abdomen, bruising her throat. Oh, and bruising her throat. I was like, in her abdomen, bruising her throat. What? Uh, Nathaniel Abbott, Walterside laborer, age 32, discovered a woman in the alleyway of Paul's Tavern after leaving the establishment. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, basically, uh, let's see. Okay, prostitutes. Uh, there's a prostitute and she got stabbed and um, this uh, laborer found her. Okay. All right. New factory for new jobs. Hmm. Oh, that's it. Hmm. Hello, guy. Want to talk? No. Fine, just exploring then. Ooh, what's this? Um, okay. The G. Windham family, 20 July 1886, W. Thompson Poultry Studio. Huh. Hey, 
Hello. Good day, sir. Good day, I guess. I mean, so far your game's looking pretty, but no touchy. <laughs> Hey, elevator, eh? That's cool. What is this? Oh, hold it. Uh, what the hell did I find? Uh, okay, sons and thoughts of Britain. Sons and daughters of Britain, be merry and joyful, for we have entered a new era of prosperity. Today, our glorious empire leads the relentless march of progress as Her Majesty's army and royal knights keep a watchful eye over our motherland. Wow, you're talking so slow. Breed threat at bay. The United India Company hoists our beloved Union Jack across the globe. As you and your children enjoy the satisfaction... Okay, I'll read it. As you and your children enjoy the satisfaction of an honorable day's work, our factories produce goods that, that make England proud. As each day dawns our magnificent empire, the sun, the sun shines on a brighter future than ever before. A future that you could be a part of. Every day, ordinary citizens stand up and seize opportunities that bring them riches and a better tomorrow. You could be next. So I ask you, children of Britain, are you doing your part? Be a benefit to England. Bring honor to the empire. Wow, <laughs> that's slow. <clears throat> it befalls the day of Uther Pendragon. Yeah, Pendragon, when he was king of all England, and so reigned that there was a mighty duke in Cornwall that held war against him long time. And the duke called uh, was called the Duke of Tingle, and by so means King Uther sent for this duke, charging him to bring his wife with him, for she was called a fair lady, and a passing wise, and her name was Igraine. So when the duke and his wife came to unto the king, by the means of great lords they can, they were accorded both. The king liked and loved this lady well, and he meant them great cheer out of measure, and desired to have lain by her. But she was a passing good woman, and would not assent unto the king. And then she told the duke, her husband, and said, I suppose that we were sent for that I should be dishonored. Wherefore, husband, I conceal you that we, we depart from hence suddenly, that we may ride all night unto our own castle. Okay. That's weird. I don't get what all these stories have to do, but alright. Hey. I'm on my way down to the street. Acknowledge. Oh, finally something interactive. <laughs> Get rid of all this shit. <laughs> Move. Ah, no. No. Can't do anything with it anymore. That was the most interactive thing I've played all day. <laughs> Elephants, are you interactive? No, you're not. But you look like you might be. Yeah. Fuck you, suitcase. <laughs> Oh, jump across, okay. Come on. Galahad, the gray. Any word from the higher? Ooh, what are you up to? Negative. Hey, 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 hey. Same here. Where are you going? He's probably off somewhere, Galahad. No. Well, himself. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a 
good lad. Did you say so? Mm. In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last few constables to their posts. All I can say is that we've asked everyone to remain inside their rooms. So you've spoken with them? Not directly. Then how can you assure me they're safe? What if our daughter wanders outside? What are we to do then? Do you have any idea who my husband is? It's all right. That cough is going through her arm. Ah, that's nitpicking though. Hello. Oh, sure. What are you looking at? Hmm. What's going on here? You don't sound too good. Stabilize your breathing. Yeah, much better. He seems to have trouble breathing. <laughs> yes, Constable, that is clearly the case. Perhaps he needs a glass of water. This man does not need a drink, he has asthma. Are you a doctor, ma'am? No, but my father is. I've seen plenty of people struggle with this condition. <laughs> This man needs medical attention. Unfortunately, ma'am, all medical personnel are currently unavailable. Interesting. Huh. If the in-game stories are played out like that, that'd be interesting. Seems to have trouble breathing. Oh, you're repeating? Yes, yeah. That is clearly the case. Perhaps you need to Hello, guys. This man does not need a drink. He has asthma. Are you a doctor, ma'am? Galahad. Oh, hello. See that you cordon off the entire district and do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? I did. <laughs> I was Still taking my time. <laughs> I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. And I cares to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In his day. Was? You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Graham, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. 
Come on, Gray. Let's move. Whoa, what the hell? I want to look around. That's a fountain. Well. Oh, it's a gas lamp. That's very nice. The pheasant. Hmm. Hello. Man, nobody has anything interesting to say. Even in Farmway 13, as limited as that is, people always have stuff to say when you walk up to them. <laughs> Hello guys, nothing to say either. I hear gunshots, interesting. And music's picking up too. So I guess I'm just ahead there. Alright. Where's your grain? Once we're inside, don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love. Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble. The usual trigger-happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. People are glitching out, I guess. Just high walls. Galahad, take cover. Come on, come on. Let's get to work. What? I can't aim. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Uh, what's reload? Access to reload? No, that's not it. Triangle? I need to reload! Okay. Let's reload. Square to reload, okay. Move up! Alrighty. Oh wait, hold on. Let me break this into another part. Sorry guys. <laughs> 